guys, in this video is going to be the Unpopular Opinions book tag. Y'all, I had I've been wanting to do this video since I started doing book two, okay? And I have seen a couple of heartbreaking ones where people have said they did not like Red Queen. But you know what? It's okay because everybody has their opinions and I keep it moving. But I just felt like lately I just I really wanted to do this tag. Cause there I just I really cause so many books have become a victim to the booktube overhype and it's just it's killing me. So it's that's let's get into it. Okay, let's just get into this. I think Kashawn from the Book Archer created this because I do watch her channel, but I think her name is pronounced Kashawn. I'm pretty sure it is, but I didn't know she created this book tag. I think that shit is amazing. I did not know that. So I'm going to link her original video as well as her channel down below so you guys can go and check her page out. The first question is a popular book or series that you didn't like. And my answer for this is a book that I've recently read. It's a graphic novel. And that is Miss Marvel by G. Willow Wilson. And I just, I hated this. I gave this a 2 out of 5 stars. I did not like it. The storyline was very boring. And the graphics weren't great. So I, I didn't like this. And it gets so much hype on booktube. Like I'm tired of seeing people say they love this book. But I mean they might. That might be their honest opinion but in my opinion i think a lot of people on booktube i think they didn't like it but they don't want to say they didn't like it because this is a diverse book because our character is i think arabian but she's considered a diverse character and you know there's this big diverse movement moving through booktube right now so i don't think a lot of people want to say they didn't like it because then they're going to be out of that so you didn't like a diverse book oh my god you don't like her because she's a arabic um, woman that must mean you're racist and I think a lot of people are afraid to get that kind of response but I mean if you didn't like the book then fuck they ain't got nothing to do with it she could have been a black character I didn't like the book she could have been a white I didn't like the book that doesn't mean I'm racist and I think a lot of people are tiptoeing around book two because of that these days and I mean nothing on the diversity movement but I don't think you need people to tell you you need to read diverse for you to want to read diverse you know that's just like saying I don't need people to tell me all white people aren't racist for me to know that all white people aren't racist you, you see what I'm saying you shouldn't need a move if you wanted to read diversely before then go ahead but don't wait until this movement comes along so oh, yeah I want to read diverse now because everybody wants to read diverse if you didn't want to read diverse before that's okay you know that's on you I don't know I didn't really pay attention to the genders of characters because I didn't really pay attention to the races of characters before because I read a lot of fantasy novels, so a lot of times these fantasy novels aren't even in current times, so there aren't, there isn't even a race to go along with the characters, you know? You're kind of left to imagine what race they are on your own, or unless they have a person on the cover, you don't even know what race this woman or girl, boy, man is, you know? So, I mean, I, that was never really on my mind, I just read a book because it was good. I, I'm not going to read a book anymore because you let me know that the character is black. I'm not going to read it any more than if I would have not known who the character was, you know? You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to read the, more because the character is minority versus, you know, an unknown, a unknown race. You know, I'm not going to read it anymore, but I think a lot of people, you know, are tiptoeing around book two right now, just like with the whole Carve the Mark conspiracy. I had to laugh and I unfollowed a lot of book two was for this crap because they first read the book and oh my God, this book is so great. I love this book. they told you why they love the book so much. And then two days later, they come back. I'm so sorry that I enjoyed this book. I, I didn't know that it was racist and that it offended people. And I'm sorry if my opinion offended you. What? You just, two days ago, you was in love with this book until somebody told you it was racist. And now all of a sudden, you don't like it anymore and you're apologizing for enjoying the book? Uh-uh. I still want to read Carve the Mark. I don't care. You can have your your conspiracy thing going on all you want i'm sorry but i mean you can't i'm like and the the whole premise of the book is you have two different races having a war against each other that's the world today so it's like what's racist about it that's the world today there's always a lower race there's always an underdog race all the time so i mean i live in that world so i mean I, I just, I don't understand. I'm not going to apologize for me liking the book. That's just like if I love Ray Queen and somebody, somebody in power tomorrow says Ray Queen is racist. And then YouTube is outraged that Ray Queen is racist. And if you like Ray Queen, you're a racist. I'm not going to go back and change my opinion and say I'm sorry for liking the book. 
Like, I really, I unscribe to a lot of booktubers because of that shit. I'm like, if you like the book, you need to get, grow a set and stand behind your opinion that you enjoyed this book. No matter what, you didn't see it was racist. Like, well, I didn't think it was racist and I liked it. It's, it's crazy that that even went on. Like, it, it was crazy. It's like, it's, who came up with the fact that that book was racist? Who, like, who did it offend? That's somebody that's looking way too close and just decided, oh, well, this is this kind of race and that's this kind of race and this kind of race is the underdog. So that means... The writer is a racist. That means Veronica Roth is a racist. Like, no. There's so many books like that. Fantasy novels and sci-fi novels where aliens are fighting Americans. Aliens are fighting humans and humans are the underdog races. That mean that that book is freaking racist? That, are, that, you know, that author is racist? So, I mean, if you thought you liked the book, don't change your opinion because now you have 50 other people that said it's racist and you didn't think it was racist. So now you have to apologize before people start unsubscribing to you because you didn't want to offend anyone with liking a book that all of your subscribers thought was racist. I'm... Let me move on to the next question. I'm already starting to ramble and this is the first question. The second question is a popular book or series that everyone else seems to hate but you love and this was very easy for me and this is twilight like i didn't even know so many people hated twilight the twilight saga, saga period i didn't even know like so many people hated it until i started making booktube videos and i kept catching people say they hated twilight i don't see what's the hate about twilight i love twilight i loved every single book in twilight and i just don't understand i don't see how so many people hated it like i didn't even know it was that much hate i thought everybody loved twilight before i you know started messing around with book two i had no idea that didn't change my opinion you know, i still love twilight and i'm still trying to understand how you can hate it you know i don't know i love twilight i'm still a twilight to this day and it would never change Number three is a love triangle where the main character ended up with the person you did not want them to end up with or an OTP that you don't like. This was also very easy and that was Edward and Bella and I didn't feel this way. Well, I kind of felt this way reading the book but I felt more this way watching the movie because I just, I don't like Christian, I don't like Christian Stewart. She's not a good actor to me. I just, I, I didn't, I didn't like her. So she made it more of a hate thing that they shouldn't be together. I did not want them to be together. And don't just think I want her to be with Jacob. I didn't want her to be with either one of them. Because to me, she was using both of them. It's hard enough for people to find one boyfriend. You got two hot ones running behind you. Like, pick one. And it's like she was hurting both of them in a crossfire. Because one, you're leading Jacob on knowing you're with Edward. And then when Edward leaves, all of a sudden, you're all, oh, you're all about Jacob. And you're just, and, and you're... And then, you know, you're hurting at work because you're kissing on Jay. I just, uh, I did not like them. I didn't want them to be together. She didn't deserve either one of them. Okay, I hate, I hated that. Okay, that Edward needed a real woman. And she was not it. She was not it. Number four is a popular book genre that you hardly reach for. And it's YA romance. And it seems like a lot of people read the, I don't have a problem with, let me, I, I recently came to the conclusion it's not YA contemporary it's the YA romance part of the contemporary genre that I don't like it's just too much mushiness in YA romance it's like it's always high school drama and I don't know if it's hard for me to relate to it now since I'm not I haven't been in high school for a couple of years it's just it's too much mushiness and too much undecisiveness going on but people don't know what they want and i just i don't like to read that and it's too insta lovey a lot of ya romance is very insta lovey oh i saw him in the cafeteria for the first time he's a new kid and I, he's so amazing and i think i'm in love with him now what that's how it always happens and i don't like that i, I guess it's just not relevant for me i don't know man i didn't even read it that much though when i was in high school so i don't know I love adult romance. I've, I've loved adult romance since middle school. Like, <sighs> to the point where I thought I was sneaking and reading it. Like, I thought I had to. Like, I haven't seen the books I was getting when I was checking them out at the library, but I just still felt like I had to hide them because, you know, a lot of adult romance novels, the cover is very steamy. And a lot of people looking at the cover, you think, oh, you got a sex book. And my uncles would catch me reading like, what you gonna read now? That's a sex book. I'm like, no, it's not. It's not a sex book. Read the back of the book. This is what the book is about. It's not a sex book. I mean, yes, it has sex scenes in it. Kept that to myself. You know, but looking at the cover, you know it has sex in it. Because that's not what the whole book is about. It's not sex every chapter. But I love adult romance. I guess it's more relevant. I love the drama because it's like YA romance, they don't really fight. They have like one big blow up towards the end of the book. Where they like break up and they make up like in a day and it's just no real couple problems is you fight you fuss you argue and you know you might stop talking to each other for a few days or whatever but you know you 
If you want to be together, you're going to be together. If not, it's not. And that's what I love about adult romance because it doesn't always end with a happy ending. Oh, yeah, we ended up together. No, it doesn't always end like that. It's like real life is more relevant. Drama is more heated up, and I love that. Um, I'm going to skip number five and number six because I'm not really sure um, what my answers would be for that. Number five was a popular or beloved character that you do not like, and I don't, I don't really know if I have an answer for that. And number six was a popular author that you can't seem to get into, and I don't really have an answer for that. Um, I don't know, because I, I would say Casey West, but I've only read one book by her. I don't think I'm going to read. No, I am, because there's um, Pivot Point I want to read, and that's by her. So, I don't know. That's not a um, one of her romance YA romance books so you know I might like it but that's why I'm, I don't want to say her because I've only read one book by her so I haven't really actually tried to get into her number seven is a popular book trope that you're tired of seeing and for that I just I, I hate this I hate this so freaking much and this is this usually happens in the YA romance which is why I don't like it and that is that internal fight that the characters usually have of oh should I tell them should I tell them I'm going to tell them oh no never mind I'm not going to tell them Oh, why didn't I tell him? I should have told him. I should have told him. I'm telling him next time. I'm telling him. And then they get up to him and I'm not going to tell him. I think it's on my nerves because you can see you can avoid so much unnecessary drama if they would just spit it out to begin with. And that's very irritating for me because I'm like, you said you was going to tell him 20 fucking times ago and it didn't come out. So I don't want to hear about you're going to tell him. No, you're not going to say what's on your mind. Or they take shit from other people and it's like, oh, I'm going to tell them all. But then, never mind. I hate that. I hate that in a character. I hate that in a real person. Like, speak your mind. Stand up for yourself. Girl, set. I don't... Sorry, guys. I, I hate that. That is my, like, most hated trope in books. And it happens a lot. I want to say it happens a lot in YA in general. I just, I hate it so much. Because you get all this un other unnecessary drama that you don't need. If they would just spit out what they wanted to say from the beginning. Number eight is a popular series that you have no interest in reading. And for this, I think I have two answers. No, I have three answers. Um, one of them is The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. Sorry. Sorry. Not sorry. I know there's like a big series on booktube. That's not really something I think I'm interested in reading. Um, it just, it's not something that I feel like. I, at first, I wanted to read it. But to be honest, I only wanted to read it because it was all over booktube. And I didn't want to feel left out. And then the longer, you know, I didn't get to reading it, I started to feel like, yeah, I don't think that's going to be something I'm going to get into. I don't really feel like that's something I want to read. I don't know. But I'm just, it's just something that's just really, really falling off the cliff for me that is just like, yeah, I don't want to read it anymore. The only reason I wanted to read it was because everybody else want, was reading it on BookTube. And honestly, I don't even know what the books are about. That's like, I'm really serious. The only reason I wanted to read it was because it was... All over BookTube is very popular. It's still a popular series today. But when I first started, it was everywhere. Everyone was talking about it, especially the big name BookTube. Everyone was talking about it. And I was like, I want to be part of the clique and talk about it too. So I want to read it too. And I'm glad I didn't pick it up because I probably would have been very disappointed. Knowing I don't even know what it's about and I don't even have a desire to read it now. Um, another one is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I just, it doesn't look like something I'm into. And that's another book I don't even know what it's about. And it's another book I just wanted to read because everybody else was reading it. It was all over BookTube and that's what everybody else was talking about. And I'm, I'm scared these books are going to be a victim of the overhype. And I just, I don't even want to get into it. it. Looking at the, and this is also another thing of the cover doesn't look very interesting to me. But like looking at the cover, I don't know if that's something I want to get pulled into. And I don't even know what it's about, like, at all. I've no, I don't think I've ever known what it was about. I just always seem to come across the book too, so. Yeah, that's not something I want to read. And the last series is um, The Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Now with this. It's like, I, I, I kind of want to get into it, you know, I want to get into that kind of world, but then at the same time, the books are so big, it's intimidating. So this is a victim of, I'm intimidated by the size of the books, because I get bored if the book is way too long. It could be good all they want to be, but I would get bored, I would get tired of reading the same book, and it would get me into a reading slump. So, I mean, I don't know if I'm up for reading series with 500, 700, 800 page books. I mean, I can read a 500 books as a standalone, 500 page book as a standalone, but not as three books out of this series is 500 pages in a row, and the other ones are 800 pages. I, I just, I don't know, you guys. Like, I'm kind of intimidated by it. I'm kind of intimidated by it. That's why I don't think I'm kind of interested in reading this anymore, because I'm just, I'm intimidated. I just, I don't know. And the last question is, the saying goes... The book is always better than the movie, but what movie or TV show adaptation did you prefer more than the book? 
And that would have to be, and specifically to the T, Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2, the fight scene. In the book, in Breaking Dawn the book, there was no fight scene. So can you imagine the shock on my face and the shock on my mom's face <laughs> when we were sitting in the movies and the fight scene happened? We're like, wait, hold up, hold up. Ain't no fight scene happening in the book. What is this? And then it turned out all to be a vision that Alice was showing. That was way better than the book not having a fight scene at all. That was great because I was, when I tell you I was into it, my feelings was hurt when people was dying. I was crying. I was like, no. I was like all into it. And then we was like literally on the edge of the seats. We was leaning back the whole movie. And then that happened was like on the very end. And then it was all a vision. I was like, are you serious? This is just a vision. That was amazing. Like, I love that. That should have been something that was in the book, too. Like, that was just so great. I love that. That was a great addition to the movie. I just, I love that so much more than if they just would have talked it out. I love that. So, yeah. That is the Unpopular Opinions book tag. If you didn't like my opinions, you know how to unsubscribe. And you know how to click off my video. And if you did like it, kudos to you don't forget to like my video don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share and i will see you guys next time bye is it too late now to say sorry because i'm